Hello once again, we are of uh, TK Solutions TV. The show is called Off the Pitch with TK. I'm your host, TK. Uh, today in the studio, I'm, I'm joined by a very special person. Uh, and, and it's somebody that all of you have been requesting us to, to get to the, to the show because you believe he's got uh, good stories to tell you and you want to know where is he, what is he doing, and what are his plans. And uh, we, we, we got him in the studio today. He, he visited us. I'm joined by former Ria Stars, Dynamos, Black Leopards, Barocca FC, City Pillars. This man has coached and saved a lot of teams in, in South Africa, but he'll tell us more. I'm joined by uh, coach uh, Jacob Selula Sakara. Well, oh, thank you very much, TK. And thank you very much also to the viewers. I would like to welcome all the viewers uh, countrywide. Um, well, this is the coach Jacob Sakala, as, as, may, as many of you know me as. Um, well, I'm a, I'm a Zambian mostly now. I'm a South African actually. Yeah. Uh, I've changed everything. Yeah. Uh, I came in South Africa in, in 1995 actually, where at least I started coaching. My first career was when I started with Babaton All Blacks. That was the first division team. Mm. Yes, but he, due to that, when I was with Papaton, actually I was discovered in a very few three months. I was discovered by Mahola Ringwe Rovers, yes. where at least Mahola Ringwe Rovers brought me as far as Pipras, which was scoring uh, formerly in, in uh, today's uh, Mukopane. Mukopane. Mm. <clears throat> there I met players. At least uh, it was one of the first division team, at least uh, whereby I started going with Apu Pitch. Yeah. Well, I met uh, players. There were big players. Who at least they transformed today. There were players like Mugabava, American Mpangi, mm. is Stole, Humphrey, Joseph Stimela Sabaloi, yeah. uh, Luther, who you know him local is Lekel, yeah. one who was playing for Andres Bola. Andres Bola, who played yeah. for Orlando Pirates. Orlando Pirates. Yeah. Sidi Mishikaro, Manda Mapena, simply the best. Yeah. Yes. And Aradi Pinkosi? Aradi Pinkosi was one of my anchor. Yeah. Very funny guy, yes. Yeah. Very strong in the middle there. Mm. Uh, with the players like Larry Mola, at mm. least, who was one of the best strikers as well. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, Rovers was made up of uh, young stars by then. Uh, Gerard Rapatlera, who was the captain, mm. uh, seconded by Humphrey Stone, who was the vice captain. Uh, Rovers was one of the best team loved. The, you know, in the Popo, we do only one team. Mm. Which was Rovers, yeah. with the, which was putting one of the biggest crowds. Mm. And always when Rovers was playing at Timbita Mkava, mm. you will find that two o'clock the gate is closed. Yeah, the sales of tickets were no longer selling. Finished. Finished completely. Playing good football. Whoa, they were playing one of the marvelous football which I've never seen. Yeah. I couldn't even believe myself that that was Rovers. Yeah. Yes, with our chairman Amini Makafula, I think. Yeah. Yes, and Kikana was our team manager. Mm. Rovers was one of the biggest uh, team so far in Mpopo. Even when we come to play at Vred Stadium, mm. we come and play at uh, Fosteras. Uh, there was and so many grounds actually. Rovers, you know, most of the people who they call oh, Makarapan, mm. they are Makarapa, at least those Makarapas, most of them they are coming from Mpopo. Yeah. All of them they were going to stop supporting their teams that time they will support rovers rovers yeah you know most of them were coming from the popo yeah they loved the team but but coach i, I want to understand from baba tone how do you get to rovers who brings you to rovers at i time? was brought by uh, amini makafula who was the chairman he was a secondary school teacher mm. he came there when he saw baba tone all blacks it was a team from uh, maximum prison there yeah yeah it was one of the biggest the team which was doing very well actually Mm. I was the chief development, sports development officer there, yeah. running all the sports in yeah. that uh, correctional services. Mm. That's when, when I came there, actually, I discovered few players, mm. like in Tuani and Tutus. Yes. I found them there. I brought them there. Yes. But, but, but when you go to Rovers, was Rovers already playing NSL then, or they were still playing lower division? They were playing uh, NSL. NSL already? Yes, yes. Yeah. Mm. And that's when you started coaching them. That's when I started coaching, actually. But, but the players you coached at the Rovers, some of them you coached at the Real Stars. Uh, yeah, I groomed the players because I first started development. Mm. When you talk about development in South yeah. Africa, I was the first person mm. where people didn't understand. Mm. Because I had the first level, mm. but I had another development yeah. where people would not understand. Mm. What do you mean? I said, no. It was difficult. Life was not easy. The yeah. Rovers were not getting paid. 
and robbers. Yeah, sometimes you get paid after three months, but well, that is uh, <laughs> water under the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you loved the, you loved football. I loved the football. I did it for the sake that I loved the football. Yeah. So I started recruiting young ones. Mm. That was Sidney Mishkaro Sembaloi. That was the Song Lapo. There were players like Tobejani. Those were the junior level now. Yeah. Yeah. And the, I, I didn't understand why, but I knew that now these, these players at that time, they are playing to market themselves. Mm. Players like Andres Wola, mm. uh, Joseph Baloy, Mkavama, yeah. Stole. So that's why I had to reserve young ones. Yeah. Yes. So, so when you were at the Real Rovers, uh, sorry, uh, um, yes, Real Rovers. Yes. That's when you, Mkavama was still a young boy. Mkavama was uh, still a young, but he was big, a senior at Wom Shikaru. Yeah. Yeah, they were big. Yeah. Shikaru was big. Uh, uh, Tole Humphrey was big. Mm. Joseph Baloy was big. Mm. Uh, those uh, Shikaros, uh, Sam Baloy, mm. uh, Lucky Lukwati. I went to pick Lucky Lukwati at Social Gouver. Is it? Yes. It How did you boy. discover him? I saw him playing on the dust. I said, no, <laughs> I think there is future. Let's go. Yeah. I picked the Lucky Lukwati. Mm. And Lucky Lukwati used to cry last time. Yeah. Every time would say, ah, no. I can see I can see future. So so when he got to Limbobo he was always crying, struggling. He was until he little by bit I worked on his mind, yeah. started motivating him. He was a, he was playing as a winger. Mm. He was playing as a right back. But what was I making mean, him cry? Right wing. Uh, right wing. What yeah. was making him? They were kicking him. Like wrong. he was, a, I know he was a mama's baby. Yeah. Life was not easy there. Sometimes <laughs> there was no food. Sometimes yeah. you could, players could sleep eating Mount One. Mm. You see, <laughs> that was the food they mostly ate there. Yeah. Maybe they buy Mount One for almost fifty rand. It was a very big packet. They are told to eat four days. Four days. Yeah. Same menu. Yeah. No changes. The so, team didn't have money. Uh, the team didn't have money, they had no sponsor. But yeah. there was little money coming from the league. Yeah. But he, well, the team had didn't. And, and you were staying at the clubhouse with all the players or? No, but when I came uh, at that team, mm. uh, well, it was not easy. It was a funny thing. Mm. I used, life was tough for me. Yeah. I was staying uh, at a small guest house, but the cheapest guest house so far, yes. Yeah. But uh, when I started staying there, actually, well, uh, I, I came as a, a single man in mm. South Africa. Mm. I married one uh, woman who was a teacher. Mm. Yeah, I also she motivated, she gave me strength yeah. in my career. Yeah, this yeah. was uh, Sylvia Kikana. It was, she really motivated me. Yeah. She was a good woman, she was supporting. Mm. So every, sometimes she could give me money to buy food for the players. Yeah. Yes. When it was bad, there was nothing coming. When there was no, it was bad, you couldn't even talk. You couldn't even say anything. You say go and give your players. So, so coach, if you were struggling for salaries with players, it means there was no bonus for win. Ah, with the bonus, forget there was nothing. Mm. Yeah, you, you are talking about a uh, uh, rhino horn, maybe. <laughs> 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 you are talking about the rhino horn. Yeah, where it's not easy to find it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> mm. So eventually, uh, 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 players like the Khwati they adjust to real rovers and. Um, he moves to. I want to understand how did you join Real Rovers? What I mean, uh, Real Stars. What happened to Rovers then for you to go to Real Stars? Uh, well, when he, those the the owner of the team, there was called a, a man called Mr. Ngoben. Mm. Mr. Ngoben was short. After Mr. Ngoben was short, mm. things started going downwards. Mm. Yes, when there was a, a, a good team, but as time went on, mm. uh, Paris bought his Sebula. Mm. Uh, they bought the uh, uh, Mkababa, they mm. went to Pirates. Mm. I even negotiated for them. Mm. said, no, I want two players there. From Pirates? Yeah, from, from Rovers. Yeah. Yes, they went to Pirates. Okay. Then uh, Alex Mapela also was, was part of it. Yeah. He went to Sundown. Mm. Steamer went to Jomo. Mm. And American Mpangi, they went to Jomo. Jomo. Yes. And the Manza Mapela went to Super Sport. Mm. Yeah, yeah, then you know, they were in the juniors. Yeah. Yes. So I saw that I, the team was... There was no team. There was no team. That's when I brought those chicks now, mm. which I was uh, keeping. Yeah. Ngom Shikaro, Lucky Lukwati, Tobejani. Tobejani, it became... Yeah. I found Shikaro was playing as a central defender. 
Mm. Actually, what was a winger. Mm. Yeah. Uh, what was an attacking midfielder, so Mulapu. He yes. is the one who played for Nishnat. Mm. So I started transforming those players. I saw Banda, mm. was a good player also. So it was a Chuks Machaka as well. Yeah. Chuks was Chuks coming. Machaka, he, he, he later played at Black Aces. You coached him at Black Aces? Right? Yes, I coached him. I, I, I was taking them wherever I was going. They yeah. were like my children. <laughs> so at least Machaka was even at Rovers. Mm. So Chico came when Gomene passed away. Mm. I met a man called Chico Twala. Yes. So Chico Twala, I introduced him to the owner, the sister of Rovers. Mm. I said, yeah, this is Chico Twala. You can run what, what. He brought players like Ataswan. Mm. Yes, Ataswan came with so. Ataswan played for you day. At, at I was coaching Ata for almost two years. Yeah. Yes. So he yeah. brought players from Houting now. Yeah, I brought some players. So those, oh, Chukunia Kribi. Yes. Yeah, I brought players like he, uh, Shabalala. Uh, Frank uh, Makua. Uh, Frank Makua. No, that was the now when I went to Riesta. When you went to, so yeah. this one they were still at Real Rovers. Yeah, those were still at Real Rovers. Mm. So he brought a, a lot of players. So, uh, the team did very well. Mm. Shepard came, Shepard was my assistant coach there. Mm. I brought Shepard. But at some time, time, as I was working with Shepard, uh, there was uh, some squabbles. Mm. Shepard wanted to do the high position. You wanted to be above you? Yeah, above me. And she you brought him there? She said, no. Um, can you say what you said, Shepard? You said you want to be the head coach uh. on, to on top Sagan, uh. on Jacob Sagan. She was said in a meeting. In a meeting, he said, I want that thing, what you said. Uh. I said, ah, now you're backstabbing me when I'm not there. <laughs> oh, so, Shepard, it means now, me, I'm firing, not Chico. I'm firing you myself. <laughs> Chico said, do as what you can do, you're a coach. Yeah. Well, I did that. Well, uh, the team remained like that. Mm. So we played. Definitely, the team was doing very well. Mm. With the new young players, it was doing. We were now almost the same points. Mm. Same points with the Tembisa Classic. Mm. We're now playing the last game for promotion. Mm. But it was one of the, the game I'll never forget in my life. Yeah. Because there was a Sinki also. Sinki came with the, with the team, with the referee in the same pass. <laughs> <laughs> so the opposition is coming with the referee. The referee. Same pass. Same pass. That was a Kumbi. But already you are suspecting by then Kumbi. I, I, we said it, no. That game was stopped by the soldiers. Mm. It was stopped by the police and the soldiers. That game? It never even finished. Yeah. Yes. What happened that day? Uh, it was almost 16 minutes to go. Uh. Almost 70 minutes. Uh. The, the referee pointed the penalty when the ball was almost in the middle of the <laughs> center and the, the penalty. Outside yeah. in the box, not even near the box. He's giving Tembisa Classic a penalty. A penalty, yeah. No people fought. It was at Maholeric Stadium. Yeah. Yeah. They said was, no, no, no. No, 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 no. So at least they were given a penalty. That penalty was never short. Mm. It remained like that. But in DC, we lost the case. That was the end of the game. That was the end of the league. Mm. A class was promoted. Then you were relegated. Yeah, we remained in the same first division. Yeah. Yes. Oh, classic was you stayed in first division. Classic yes, went to PSL. That was when. He, oh yes, I yes, get it. Yes. So that was whoever wins between you two was going to PSL. Yes. Right? Yes. 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 And then because of that uh, DC, now yes. you remain, Lassie yes. goes high. But you are still staying at the Real Rovers. I was still at Rovers. But mm. the, the same year, immediately there, when things were not going well, mm. uh, I met a lady by the name of... Because we were beating all the teams with Bank. The team we beat 3-0 was not a team. We were beating four. Every team we were beating four. Yeah. We called ourselves four by four. We are cruising, we are going. Yeah. Any team we were beating four by four. Mm. Four zero. Mm. Any team we played. Mm. So we beat the we beat the Real Stars for zero. Mm. Ria appointed me and said, "No, take over the team. I want you to come here." I came with the Chico again. I introduced Chico to Ria. Yeah. I said, "Ria, this is a good uh, chairman. Yeah. I'm moving with him." Yes. I've been moved, mind you. I've been moving with the Chico from Black Leopards. Yeah. I introduced the um, I introduced the Chico? Uh, Chico to Black Leopards, and yeah. we bought that team with the Chico and me and. The, Tidiera. Yeah. Yeah, from Matele Musha, the owner, the owner of... Uh, Ble uh, uh, it was Chipako. Ch that team was Chipako. Lepers was Chipako. Yeah. Yes. Then it, Mr. Tidiera with you and Chico body, they named it Black Leopards. Yes, we named it Black Leopards. So you've been at mm. Leopards before you go to Real Rovers I, or later? At, at Real Stars. Mm. After I was at Real Stars there, mm. uh, 
things were moving well. Mm. The team was doing very, very, very well. We brought players like uh, Sam Pem. Mm. Nigerian. Uh, uh, Nigerian. Yeah. We brought a friend Makua. Mm. Tabang Libisi. Mm. Yes, it was now a solid team mm. with a lot of stars. Mm. Yeah, very. Tapelo Diaw. Tapelo Diaw, Sidney Mishkaru. Yeah. So, mind you, I came with half of the team from half of the team Chukso from Machado. Real Rovers. You brought yeah, them said, to Real Stars. Boys, there is future. Let's go. <laughs> so, Chico told me, he said, No, talk to them. Yeah. I took all the players. We went there. Real Ria was stars. one of the best team yeah. in the No, that area. team was the best. The best. Uh, I've never seen it up to today. Yeah. A team that was playing good football like Ria. Yeah. We came here at the first, first rush. We beat the Pirates there. Mm. People couldn't believe. Mm. We are beating Chiefs, people couldn't believe. Mm. Yes. And by then, Adria starts financially, all is good. Mamria is paying and Chico, they are paying. Chico was paying now. Mm. Though, though at least he was paying, but it was good. It yeah. was not bad. Yeah. Yes. But, but you were getting paid every match, no problem. Every match we were paying, getting paid, everything was going well. Yeah. Very well. There mm. was no problems. Mm. But as the team goes on, Chico, there was a suggestion from uh, PSL that out of 18 teams, two teams must be so. Yeah, well. and it remains 16. Yes. That's when uh, at least the two teams went off. Yeah, that's when uh, Ria Stars and Free State Stars were sold. Yeah, they they sold took them. the money, in fact. They volunteered. They said, no, we are selling out. They went out. Yeah. And Chico took the team. They think the, there there were problems. Some of us would do it. We don't know what happened. We never got paid there. Yeah. yeah but <laughs> that was not my focus. Mine was nothing. But I said, let me build my brand. Yeah. I kept on building my brand. Yeah. And but but I hear as good as uh, your chairman Chico was, sometimes he will say, you must play this one. And you tell him, I don't interfere with your music. Don't interfere with my team. He, I, there was one time when I was with Chico. Uh, I remember Chico, sometimes he would come from the grandstand and tell me that, why, why are you not playing Chico uh, Why are you not playing... Uh, Tabang uh, uh, you would come and say, uh, yeah. one day he forgot, he entered even in the ground looking at the supporters. <laughs> then he started he, telling the players, saying, change. Uh, 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 ah. In the middle of the ground, jumped the line. Uh, <laughs> then I told the Chico, I said, I've been, I've been coming to Basanio for many times, Chico. Mm. I saw you recording Nomaganjan, mm. but I've never told you, uh, you, you play the drums, you play the lead guitar. I always tap my foot and say, this will be the heat of the Christmas. <laughs> Why can't you do the same? This is my studio. Yeah. This is my studio. This team is my studio. Don't interfere. my studio. As long as I'm in the ground, this is my studio. Mm. Don't interfere. Whoever plays, this is my instrument. Mm. Yes, you must forget and see what is happening. Ask about the results. That's your work as a director. Yeah. Yeah, Chico laughed there. Was a good director. There was no, I won't yeah. take out from him. Yes, Chico, he loved, and he loved me. Yeah, I was the only person. Sometimes I would sleep in. I would sleep at Chico's house. Mm, in person. In person. Yeah. From there, we could go at his mother's place. Yeah. Up to today, Chico, when he even sees me in the football games, he would call me and sit, come and sit here with me. Yeah. But I've always been loved by all the directors. I don't know all the chairmen. Yeah. Okay, all the presidents. No, you're a lovable person. Even the directors where their problems, they loved you. Even the ones that were not paying you and the players, they loved you. Because I never chased money. I was somebody, sometimes I would motivate the players. I saw the bunch of money coming today. Yeah. And get the results. Yeah. Yes, and they tell the one of the team, but we won the game. But you must also think about the players. Yeah. But the time went on. I saw somebody saying, I want to buy the team. I said, you want to buy the team? Mm. This was the uh, uh, Petty Malabida mm. and the uh, uh, Mike Nkuna. Mm. They got a team. Up to today, I think uh, Mr. Nkuna also was one of the directors up to today. Mm. We have never lost the touch. He, he, appreciates, he, appreci he appreciates me. Yeah. Yeah, he bought the team of Dynamos. Mm. That was where there were a lot of. Uh, Funny things. Yeah. Where at least he, I started working with him. I chose, I said, I'll bring Humphrey Story as my assistant. Mm. Because normally when I, I, get, I go up as mm. a coach, I always take a player I've worked with who was disciplined. Yeah. Yeah, definitely I brought players like he, so met. Mm. Isaac Mumba from Zambia, Sandra's, uh, Sandra's also from Zambia. Mm. Yes. But what you could do, I brought them there. Now I build a team of one door. 
Yes. Mm. Different coach, I was my player. Yeah. Yeah. There were players now like Frank Maku, I brought them also there. Mm. Yes. I built a strong side. Dynamos was Dynamos. a team. Dynamos, anybody who came to, the, to Guyana, nobody would got points. Yeah. Dynamos was one of the strongest team. I remember by then, Dr. Kumalo was playing as well. Mm. A lot of stars were playing there. Oh, tiki tiki, they were playing. Mm. We were playing at the, at the, at Kian. Yeah. And they thought, you know, it was almost one minute to go. One minute, it was 98, maybe 98. I mean, mm. uh, 88 minutes to go. Mm. Uh, there was uh, one shot, which uh, one boy shot in the center, one of my players. It went straight into a goal. Mm. Kennedy Mtsumi. Mm. I remember uh, him, Kennedy Mtsumi. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Dynamos was one of the biggest team yeah. ever in my life mm. where they played in, together with Ria. Mm. Dynamos was playing football. And uh, in every time I coached the teams, mm. you find that I was a crowd puller. Yeah. At Dynamos, it was orange. You think you are in the Netherlands. Yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> You think it, nice, it was orange? Orange, yes. Supporters. Yeah. Yes. Recommend ring a page. Ring a recommend ring a page. Yeah. It had, it had an update newspaper. Mm. Things were run by these young boys of uh, Mr. Nguna. Mm. They were running that uh, that newspaper that with the very efficient and they were much motiv motivation. Yeah. Each time I would win, I would receive a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. Jameson. Uh, Jameson. I'm From who? You, Pet Malabed, who was giving you the the, the James? Mr. Nguna. Yeah. He was buying even the players. So so it was a party. So Nguna and Pet Malabed, who was the boss between the two? Yeah, they were both directors. They were both directors. Yeah, they were both. But directors. Nguna was you were more closer to him before Malabed, or, or? Yeah, Nguna was more closer to him. Yeah. Very closer. Mr. Nguna was one of them. At least he was motivating because every game we play. At the, I was getting 3,000. Mm. 3,000 after the match I win. Mm. Yes. Bonus. Bonus. Mm. Which was a little bit different uh, uh, to, 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 what? Riesta. No, Dangerous Tankies. Dangerous Tankies. Yeah, yeah. Dangerous Tankies dang, dang also, I was getting every win 3,000. Mm. Yes. And they were NFD. The Dangerous Tankies never played. That's where I found the, this one was playing. I stopped him in football because he didn't want to. To go out is because I said I'm promoting you as a coach. He said, No, no, you can't cut my life for food. Tobe Jan. David Nyati. David Nyati. Yes, yes. You found him there. At yes. Dangerous Duggies. Yes, he was a player there. Yeah, and then, you, and then you said to me, You must retire. Yeah, I found that team was with the, the players like the coaches like Malone, Bolishava, mm. Trotto, Mloto. They were coaches there. Mm. I was the first person there who was there myself when I came. Mr. Robert Kumete mm. bought me. A Ford Focus. He mm. bought me a Ford Focus, brand new from the shop. Yeah. Our coach, this is your car. This is my long boy didn't say, but we've been here for a season. Why? We were using the bus with the players. Yeah. I'm telling you. But I, he loved me like his son, Robert. Mm. Commit as well. Yeah. That's why up to today I ask you, why directors liked me? Mm. So I told he said, I want you here, David Nyati, mm. as my assistant. Mm. And they said, you have done it well. Your history is shining as a footballer. Yeah. Yeah. Retire now. Retire now. Be here next to I me. I made him retire from soccer. Yeah. Yes. But you tricked him, say, uh, you'll be my assistant. Yes. Mm. The way I retired, he left a coach. Lifa yeah. didn't want to stop as well. Yeah. At Dynamos. Hey. And yeah. what did you say to him? I said, Lifa, I appreciate you. Yeah. I see when you sit in the bench here, mm. tomorrow you can be one of the biggest coach. Yeah. He said, I know me, I want to play. I said, no, you'll be the big coach. Stay here with me. Yeah. Yes. That was when uh, uh, Lifa started also, uh, because there was a, also a coach like uh, Steve Compella. I brought Compella, Compella was not, but then he was not a coach. Mm. He was an administrator at Chiefs. But I like what Compella have said. I see it in the media. Mm. He said, I appreciate what Mr. Sakala did on my life. Yeah. He brought me, if, he, when he brought me here, he never turned me to pick balls as a ball boy. Mm. He, he, he taught me how to coach and become today what I'm better, what I am. And I say, I appreciate wherever he is. Mm. I wish him to grow more than that yeah. in his career. Mm. He was brave to say it straight. When you work with a good man, you, you don't even hide the truth yeah. where you came from. Some people will hide. Today I'm happy when I see him with sundowns growing slowly. Mm. Yes. One of the best. One of the best. Yeah. 
as far as then, I, I'm up to the date when I, I see him coaching, I say, grow my young man. Yeah. Yes. And, and then, and then uh, at, um, at Dynamos, that's where you coach the likes of Gerald Modag. I coached the uh, Gerald Modagi there. How was he? As a, as a Gerard was a good player, very yeah. good player. Yeah, good. On the pitch he was good, but off the pitch? Off the pitch, I was a fun boy. He likes drinking. He, he liked the drinking. Yeah. But he never. I knew how to take him, how to handle it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He, he, he told me that he, he will drink, but he will win matches for you. Yes, that's what I said. No, if you drink, but I want you to win game. And they, they were doing that. Mm. They were doing that. Yeah. Sometimes I would tell him, "No, guys, you are playing." Mm. I would tell because the Dynamos was full of thirty or thirty-four players. Yeah. Everybody wanted to play. How are you managing them now? If thirty-four wants I, to play. I would go when they are training. Sometimes anybody who comes near to me said, I coach near Kara this week. Mm. I don't know what person this one. Uh, uh, Thomas, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Come go train like I want to tell my father. <laughs> hey, so everybody will ring their ears and yeah. say, You are starting, you are starting. So All day before you told them you are starting. You are starting. Come match day, you can only do 11. Ah, when I hand over the lineup, I've done the 11 already. Yeah. So, so some people will start asking, them, How? Uh, Why I'm not in the lineup, coach? Uh. I say, hey, my, my young man, do I look like a police, <laughs> a police station? <laughs> <laughs> Why you bring your complaint here, your report here? Do so uh, I look like a police station? Uh, I'll suspend you. <laughs> Focus next week. I know why. Uh, I'm still waiting for the rules from FIFA. Uh, next time we'll be playing 22 people, <laughs> 22 against 22. Yeah. So now we're playing level. <laughs> there was no choice. I couldn't make anything. So you'll tell them FIFA will pass a rule to play 22? Yes, that's what I'll tell them. FIFA will pass a rule to play 22 players. Yeah. That is what is coming on. But for now it's level. For now it's level. Let's forget about it. Yeah. The what go. Yeah. Then they'll say, okay, this is really a coach. Uh, where yeah. did you coach Jerry Scorsan? At which team? City Pillars. City Pillars? Yes. I hear he never liked to sit on the bench, that one. When I, he, he, if I say warm up, uh, uh, Jerry would start saying, no, all right, I warm up. Uh, uh, then when I warm up, I said, all right, first level, Jerry come this side. Jerry would say, ah, as a what? As a coach. I'm still younger than you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and when he was a good person, he said, even with Mudise, because I came to pick Chico Mudise at here in, the, in Soweto. In Soweto, yeah. yeah. I came with the uh, uh, Stimela. Mm. We together with Stimela, and then we told Chico, Chico, uh, we told the Chico that this is a good player. He can play at Ria Stars. Mm. So I brought him also from just the dust. Yeah. And he turned into to gold. Big mm. player, big player. Into a big player. Even Naki Duhati from the dust and turned him into gold. Yeah. Mm. Crying as he was, you said, stay here. Yes. Even a, a lot of players, until I, I nearly stopped my career, but I went to, 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 in Pumalanga Blackers called me. Mm. I came, I promoted in Pumalanga Blackers. Mm, I remember. I was annoyed when I promoted that team for the first time. Um, when Gobe and the what go another they brought another coach from from uh, from Greece. They said these mm. are the coaches. Mm. You you go to development. I said I better I go and stay home. I went back to uh, uh, Kopan. Yeah. I went to stay there. They yeah. were relegated. Yeah. After you promoted them, they take you to development. Yes, they were relegated. Mm. Again, they wanted who can do this. They brought me back again. Yeah. When they were getting relegated, yeah. they were number 14, mm. I mean 15 to be relegated. Mm. I served from relegation the next season, I promoted the team. But, but Coach, mm. there was a, I, I, I got a picture of you while you were at Black Aces. Yes. On the phone, yes. while the game is played. What was happening there? Uh, there, when I was, we were playing at the phone, actually, yeah. there was somebody who phoned it because I put put my phone on the... When you coach, you put your phone in the pocket? Yeah, it was in the pocket. Yeah. Sometimes that phone, it was uh, vibrating. Yeah. So when it was vibrating, uh, there was uh, one of the directors, mm. somebody told me, said, Swara phone, Gomra. Yeah. Why is Swara phone? Why is Swara phone? Mm. I don't know. 
the director wanted to tell, tell you something. I said, no. But who's the coach? Mm. Who is the coach? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Then that's when I told them, no, no, no. Guys, I'm the coach. Yeah, leave me. Leave me, I'll do what I want. Yeah. Yes, until that team, I started making the scheme on my own until I promoted that team yeah. to another level. So, mm. so during those times, there were those problems of, of coaches, uh, of chairmen who would want to set up uh, a set scheme for you. But he doesn't know that player was not playing. That player came on Friday. He was sick. He was not doing well. Mm. He's trying. But a, a chairman would tell you to play this one. Because they like that player. Because they like that one. I mm. said, all players in my life of coaching, they are equal. Mm. I will never treat them another player differently and make another player better than the other one. Mm. It's either you stop. But, but coach, at the, I know coaches, they, they've got the way they want to dress. At ACES, one time I'll see you wearing formal, nice suit, the other time with track suit. What, what was the occasion there? Which time were you wearing suit? Which time were you wearing track suit? I was the first person in South Africa. Yeah. I remember I was the first person to put suit. Today, I'm happy. I, I'll say it even whether he's listening to me. Yeah. Compera, I was putting a suit. Compera came to laugh at me and say, Hey, Spear, when you coach a quick quick coach suit, I'm going to have a problem with coach suit. Yeah. So I came putting a suit. We're playing uh, Dynamos versus Plekesis. Uh, that was mm. the, uh, that he, where you selected the best team so far. Mm. Yeah, Black is Black Label by then. Yeah. Yeah, it was the Black Label, I think. Mm. Yeah, they chose. So we were playing Chiefs, I was putting a suit. Mm. So Steve was laughing at me, saying, Why do you put usually when I'm happy I put a suit. Yeah. When I'm happy when I'm happy like that, mm. you must know I'm very, very, very I'm confident that this game I win it. Yeah. I'll put a suit. You'll put on a suit. Yes. But once I put a what call a trick suit. Mm. There's somewhere where I've been stressed by the director, but I know that I'll get it. But well, <laughs> yeah. Today, mm -hmm. but, but I hear you in the past. You, um, I mean, the good thing is some of the teams you coach they are no longer existing. Dynamo is no longer exist. Real Stars and so on. Uh, there are times where you guys you will not be paid uh, until it's uh, month end and it's in the second month. Yes. And uh, the players will tell you, coach, we are not training. We are not paid. No, that was true. Yeah. Uh, you know. I, I knew Pet Malabida like, no, like my palm, like, my, mm. like nobody's business. Yeah. I knew because those days there was no e-wallet, there was no putting money through what go, uh, the only way you write a check, yeah. he was giving us checks, but I knew those were plain checks, there, were not, <laughs> there was nothing. <laughs> so he'll give us checks, all of us. Yeah. But I know in the, in the account there is 40 or 80,000, mm. but the, all the my money for the players must be about maybe 200 or something, yeah. or, or 300. Yeah. So I would uh, tell a compare and say, well, you must carry them after, keep them one, for the first minutes they must uh, do the home down mm -hmm. and the, until they cool down. Yeah. Yes. The training is finished, cool them down. I will go around and take the car. There was no bank in, in Kian. Yeah. The only bank was in Zanin. Yeah. I would drive 40 minutes to Zanin <laughs> yeah. and make sure that I'm the first one to get a check. <laughs> You get there while the players are homing down, you withdraw the, yours. Yes, I knew that. Uh, but I knew that uh, these people, uh, me, this, they were eating with their parents. They are but me, where am I going to get there? Uh, who's <laughs> going to borrow me money? Who's yeah. going to, uh, my, parents, my family is very far. Yeah. So I must make sure, as a coach, I get the first salary. <laughs> you withdraw first. So uh, when I get my money, I'm driving back to <clears throat> the ground. Yeah, numbers. to Guyana from mm. Zanin. Oh, yes. I see players like driving in numbers there they with are cool. cars. Uh, I'll flash the lights. They, they know. <laughs> <laughs> so they knew. That's why they are saying, Yeah. I'll yeah. tell them that uh, they phone me, Coach, why? They think Genile again. <laughs> so it's only maybe four or five players who get paid. Yeah. The rest won't get paid until the other three months. Mm. Mm. Then the. Uh, they will go on strike and say we are not training. Yeah, they'll still go on strike. They say no. Uh, today we are not training. They say that we are not doing. This is strike. Yeah. yeah. So when the director comes, they say, <laughs> I don't know what these boys what they are doing. Coach. <laughs> hey, they say they are striking today. I don't know why. <laughs> hey? But you were with them and say no strike, my daughter. I'm not mad. Yeah, I'll strike, my daughter. Uh, so right, so that you get mad. Yeah. But you, because you. Me as a leader, I can't influence the players yeah, yeah, exactly. in, in front of the director. Yeah. But I'll tell them indirectly. Sometimes I'm not paid as well, there was no money. Mm. So the only way I used the weapon was the players to say, my daughter, mm. strike my daughter. Hey, mm. it was tough during those days, uh, coach. 
It was not easy. It was tough. Mm. Definitely, it was not tough. You you had to love the game and be passionate because the money wasn't there. These boys couldn't stand if they were still playing in those days. Mm. I'm telling you, it was not easy. Even over like mm. they had a strong motivator like me. Mm. Yeah, otherwise it was not easy. Even over the others wanted to be where they are. Mm. Ah, it was not easy. Mm. It was too hard. Mm. Mm -hmm. And and coach, tell me about the team. I think there was one time where players strike, and you took some amateur players to Cape Town. Definitely, how do you know that? Yeah, that's true. And what team was it? That was a true of us. You know, you could register players within five days. Yeah, that time. Yeah, we were at the Obom Kabawa. They strike the whole rovers. Yeah, strike. Yeah, they strike. They say no, we are not going to play until we get paid. Mm. Now it's too much. It's too much. Mm. Then I said, I'll work on my magic. Then he said, I mean, I mean, he said, Chairman, I'll work my magic out. Mm. He says, how? I said, I know, I'll work my magic out. Mm. I drove a car, I said, give me a bus. I went with, by then with the driver. Mm. I went uh, to Zanini. There was a team called the Panguna, Panguna Big 15. Mm. So I told that, in that, it was on Tuesday. I said, guys, you resign and get ready. Yeah. Yeah, resign and get ready for now. You're going to play for a big club. <laughs> the whole, you told the whole team? Yes, I told the whole team. <laughs> so I took two teams there. I went with them. Yeah. Yes. I went them. I made miracles. Yeah. We flew. First time they're playing. Yeah, I told them not the guys, but you don't focus on money too much. Yeah. Some of you have never flown. Yeah. This is the first time you fly. <laughs> God has given you, make sure. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to play for bonus. Yeah. Yes, and they did that. And they played for bonus, it was 100, 100. Yeah. 100 rand each. 100 rand each? Yes. In Cape Town? We played the Cape Town, uh, Cape Town space. Mm. We drew at Cape Town yes. with amateurs. With amateurs? Yes. And then when you came back with those players? They, they saw that and I said, now, I'm, three weeks this team will be strong. Yeah. Uh, I remember Fire, Fire came with a... A dual throw. Yeah, dual throw. Yeah. Came with a... Uh, Twinkan oh. and chase all the players that whoever we find in Mahoneri here, <laughs> we are going to shoot him. So those players <laughs> ran away. Until so, so when you brought those players, you didn't take them back to Zanin. You kept them in the clubhouse. Yes, we kept them in the clubhouse. You said you are my players now. You are my players now forever. Then Joel Strober came with a Twinkan and chased them away. Yes, and the, the, the well, there was there were three players who came and mm. chased him them and said, no, if we find you here, we are going to shoot you. Yeah. Yeah. Then the boys left? They left the boys. Then the striking players had to come back? Yes. Sure. Those striking players now think they had to sit down. Yeah. And they say, all right, gentlemen, we'll give you one salary. And, one. And, and did you coach Black Leopards? I coached Black Leopards. I promoted Black Leopards. Yeah. yeah. When did you go to Black Leopards? I went to Black Leopards. The Robert Banda was my assistant. Mm. Immediately when they bought Black Leopards, uh, with the Chico there. Yeah. Yes. It was called uh, Chipaku. Chipaku, yeah. Mm, yes. And you, you coached there? You promoted them to PSL? Yes, when there was Womlondo, Chukubidi, Chukubidi. Yeah, Rajani Ramuzu. Uh, uh, this one. Rajivadera. Uh, Rajivadera. Yeah. Yes, even the goalkeeper was a coach now. Uh, uh, Masuta. Masuta. Mm. All those uh, players, at least, even Christopher Najizive, they were there. Yeah, Jason number 11. Yes, I made that team strong. It was one of us so the giant of Lipopo. Mm. Yeah, I, do, I, do. I was one of the giants of Lipopo. I caught it for almost three years. That and Toyanda Stadium will be full when they are playing? It will, it will be full. Mm. Full, full, full. I left that team. I went, I took another team from from Vodacom. Mm. I promoted to Premier again. Mm. Yes. I mean to to First Division. That was my party, Silver Stars. Mm. Silver Stars. Yeah. Yeah, from Afragach. Mm. And I made it another big strong side. Mm. I became the king of Limpopo. Though I, well, they used to call me the king of Limpopo. Yeah. I, well, that's why I gave myself. I'm even deciding to write a book which is called The King Who Never Ruled. But I was the king, but I've never ruled. But yeah. I get my fruits. So you are writing that book now? I'm writing that book. So it's going to come out uh, in soon? Soon, but I'm looking still more some of where I'm now looking for the sponsors for this book. Yeah. Yes. No, that will be interesting, that book. Yes. Yeah, we must keep in touch so that we inform viewers about it. Uh, it will be a lovely book. Definitely. And, and uh, 
but, but why you had did you have lack of promoting these teams or ngana ile mpopo bo span si khala khala coach no it was not is khala khala yeah i was very focused i loved the football at my i'm telling you yeah. i was that passionate because i knew that i should do exactly what i'm doing mm. when i'm given a team mm. i must make sure that i work extra hard yeah. i must not focus on man mm. but focus on promotion Reserve. yeah because if i do the best mm. it's my name it's not about man mm. i'll be given man or it tomorrow it finishes but let me build my man mm. though at least i'll say football today has got more money mm. yes you see even that today it really tells you will find that at least a lot of boys are not focused than mm. these manana manyanas today who are bringing the cup yeah because of focus mm. girls are focused they are not focusing on money yeah there, there is no money there yeah just... but if it was boys they are playing they run into the semi final and final mm. they were going to start buying calculators that what are we going to get now yeah yeah just their talk... mind will be ringing with calculators yeah you <laughs> want one million each one million each mm. as a result you lose focus yeah mm -hmm. but but now uh, coach you 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 know south african football a lot you've been here since more than, more than more than you, you how was khala khala during that time uh, which teams you see between here we must perform uh, the teams rituals not your rituals but the teams rituals of course yeah uh, dynamos mm. black leopards mm. there was a lot of khala khala yes. yeah yeah dynamos even at the rovers there was a lot of khala so you met I, I i knew, i saw them here yeah. i never knew that there is khala khala yeah you met them would sleep in the river at five o'clock they say let's go to the river mm. Mm. five o'clock in the morning in the morning yes and the water is cold and they say let's go and wash in the river mm. Mm. even you the coach you must wash they say you wash everybody washes so you met a lot of multi men for the teams uh, of which when the team wins they say it's a multi men one yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as a goma gets more than what the coach is yeah yeah when you lose is you when you lose now people are attacking me even the management even the supporters this. yeah i always this a low coach <laughs> <laughs> but i'm sure coach there is one multi man that you will say ah, this one is lying to us a uh, lot of them i saw multi doesn't work in football yeah we could have seen world cup coming in africa yeah yeah that would be the magic would be the protein yeah so that was just a waste of time uh, that was a waste of time i still say it even to the club so i use multi they are just wasting time yeah mm. coach the players coach the players teach them what they want motivate them work in their mind yeah so they stay focused yeah because the, the good thing with you coach is that players love you every player that played for you they love you I was, yes, yes yes that is true yeah i was a fi i was a father figure because when i loved the players i never loved one individual mm. i built all the players together i become a father and always sometimes teach them about life teach them about tomorrow mm. talk to them everything that i do we do it for the team yeah not for yourself mm. and when we move we move as a team when we eat we eat as a team mm. yes and the, you went to baroka also so all teams in limbobo almost you could what happened I, at baroka at baroka it was okay mr pastela was not a bad person but there was somewhere when we went to parallel mm. when i went there mm. he gave me a contract when i had a one year a one year contract he came mm. with another contract say sign a contract of beating chiefs pirates and the cape town and sundowns yeah this the, 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 the what call was following one year what call. Uh, yeah it was one in a month just a month i'm playing four teams and he said this contract says you must beat this four i said even today you bring you be, you bring himself it's only jesus who can afford this contract me i can't <laughs> yeah it's either i go terminate my contract yeah i can't beat these teams you can see cape town is on fire mm. they are winning that like nobody's business mm. you can see sundowns is on fire i mean it was vets mm. yeah it was vets Yeah, this was number two it was doing well by then mm. Mm. so the, the 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 contract on top of the one you had says beat chiefs sundowns pirates and vets yes and you said chairman no no chairman it can't happen mm. it's rather we just divorce yeah yeah we divorce this contract yeah it can't work for and us. that's how you left the uh, left them there he accepted said i said no let me leave you coach how many months at baroka uh baroka was there for almost the I was running to the fourth man. In the fourth man. Yes. You didn't stay long. I didn't stay very long. Mm. Fourth man, that was in the middle of fourth man. Mm. Yeah. Then uh, you said no I'm leaving. I said I'm leaving. After building that team. Yeah. Mm. It was coming okay. It was it was it was a good team. Mm. Mm. 
So, but the 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 the, the contract of the contract messed it up for you. Yeah, it they messed it for me. And then after Baroka, where did you go? Mm, after Baroka, I think he, there was were frustrations mm. that made me a little bit say no, let me stop. Mm. Definitely. But otherwise, I had a long running career. Everybody, I couldn't stay even home. Everybody wanted me. Mm. You see, I've produced almost 1.4 million players I've produced. 1.4 million players you yes, produce? Yes, yes. Yeah, because One you've been producing. Some are directors, uh, some are uh, staff president. Mm. All the players, of course, they're in big position. Some are directors. Yeah. Some are uh, provisional, what you call, uh, uh, president of SAFA. Yeah. Yes. Today, some are coaches. Take mm. Maduka. Maduka was coaching in Metamazul. Mm. Governor was coaching there. Mm. Yes. So, if I were to say, give me your best players that you've coached out of this 1.4 million, can you give me the best players that you know, these were my best players? Yes, I've coached a lot of players, I've developed a lot, but these were my warriors. Definitely. I've coached the, whoever I've coached, they were best players. Yeah. But, well, I couldn't point, they were good players. I would say Zwane was a good player. After Zwane. Hatha Zwane was, Makua was one of the best players as well. Mm. Frank Makua. Mm. Yes. Uh, Maduka was one of the best players. Very focused, quiet, mm. listening. He, know, he knew what he wants. Mm. Even today, I'm not, I'm not doubting ways. Lifa Kosha was mm. one of the good players as well. Sidney mm. Mushikaru. Uh, 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 mm. Jake Lidwaba. Mm. Yes. Though I took, that's why, wherever I was moving, when I went to Amazulu, I took uh, the young brother of Hatha Zwane, I went with him. So I was changing. I took them as my children, whatever. Uh, Ma Mulondo was a good player. Mm. Uh, this boy also was one of the best players. Yes. Uh, uh, Christopher Nijiba. Yeah, was, Christopher yes. Nijiba. Yeah. Yes, was one of the best players as well. Mm. Uh, Skarangoven was, was a very the one, the lady who played for Chiefs. Yeah, well, I was a good Karen, player. Yeah. Don't make any mistake. You coached him at Amazon? Yes, I coached I brought him here to Am mm. I brought him here to go to Kaiser Chiefs because yeah. I was leading them. Mm. Uh, American Mpangi was one of the best players as well. Yeah. Gerard Mgababa, mm. he is the man who was focused. He knew what he wanted. Mm. He, he was a serious man. Sometimes he, when the team is losing, he'd come by the benches with his passing. Mm. I coach, I look at your heart. Otherwise, it's on just a game. I will keep it on the moon. Yeah. Yeah, I will tell you straight. You will tell you from the pitch, he's not delivering Agapumelo. Agapumelo. Even if I, I will tell you straight. Yeah. I'll keep it on the moon. Sunimal is a good thing. Yeah. As Dalai Dabama, who he was injured. They will tell you straight. Yeah. Kababa will come like a buffalo. Yeah. Coach, how to move you? Yeah. He will stop even the referee is blowing you, what he is standing there. Yeah. I say, all right. It's what I'm more of Gerard. Yeah. Yeah. Like you Yeah. Some I'm more picture Gerard. Yeah. So, and, and I believe also uh, Gerard, they will, if a new player comes, they will make him feel that he's new. They will say to him, whose position are you going to take? Gerard, if a new player, that's why I say nowadays, players are lucky. Like, eh? I had the players like Yogo Fire Seroba, mm. uh, Humphrey Story, mm. uh, uh, Gerard Mkababa. Yeah. They will tell you straight mm. and tell you, uh, Coach, mm. all the chances have good numbers. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's going to play at your house. <laughs> he's going to play at your home. Yeah. But the year, there's no space. Yeah, we are okay here. We are okay here. Yeah. And that was when I was bringing these young boys. Mm. But they are seeing that I'm trying to build a small boy, mm. these small boys. I don't know. The team, we are okay. We are almost 21. You yeah. don't need anybody. Mm. Yes. And if that small boy is not strong, he will break. He will break. They will make sure. Mm. They will make sure that they tell each other. Okay. And the striker will make sure that he's supporting. Uh, uh, he supports. Gerard will make sure that there's a new striker. Mm. Gerard will make sure that he, that striker will test him or break him. Mm. So that he, he makes sure that he saves the position for the other striker who's there, whether it's Luther, whether it's uh, Rally Mool. He yeah. makes sure that he keeps the position. Yeah. But there was one strike I brought you. He was a very powerful strike. Mm. He was an engine up to today. Sandy mm. Galunga. Mm. I was a powerful. He was from Zambia. Yeah, I was from Zambia. Yeah. He went up to play in the, in the Val Professionals. Mm. They bought him. 
I was a very good player. He was a beast. I was a beast. He was playing for the national team. Mm. Mm. So when you brought him to, to uh, the team, uh, the Gerald and them, they were undermining him? They were undermining him, but they believed, they proved themselves and said, Ah, Mchi, a coach. This it, is a player. Yeah. This is a player. But no, Mchi. Yeah, Mchi, a coach. You have no doubt. This is a good player. You will help us. Mm. Uh, they, will, they will test you, those guys. Yeah. And tell you, no, this is a player. Now, uh, that team I had was a crazy team. Uh, it's Mary Banning Mpangi who went to the chairman and eat the food. Because uh, he he ate all the food in the fridge and said, no. We are not getting paid. How am I going to survive? And he took some of the food and put it in, in the uh, in, in the, the bag. In the bag and went. So he found the chairman's kids eating there. Yes, and he said, "Tell your father, he's not paying us. I'm taking everything." <laughs> mm. He took the food. He took the food. Mm. So, so coach, that time you you yeah, it was really a struggle because when players are hungry, it's your problem is the coach because Definitely. you spend time they with them. They won't deliver, and the end, end is me who faces the consequences. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Mm. Now, you must have coached crazy players also. Oh, I've gone over crazy players, a lot of them. Yeah. Even a given example, Pang was one of the crazy players. Yeah. Kidding. Yes. American. American Pang. Yeah. Ah, oh, he was another. Very, very. Even in Shikaru was a good player, but sometimes he goes crazy like that. Mm. Even Lucky. Lucky was a, a good boy. Sometimes he's only he was short tempered, but he had to build his temper always. Yeah. That put your career first. Yeah. Mm, sometimes you throw the boots and say I'm stopped. Mm. I don't want to play. I don't want to play anymore. Yeah. Mm. And how was a cheaper soulmate? Oh, the soulmate. He was. A, he was my baby. But you, you see, with the soul, always you have to know how to handle it. Yeah. Because sometimes I had, they were playing three of them in one position. It was him and who? Him, Do, and Serova. Mm. Yeah. They were all the best. Yeah. Sometimes you just take a pen and say. Uh, let me put three names. Whichever squash he is, the one who's playing. <laughs> I was squash because I didn't want to make a favor. Yeah. They were all the best. Doe was a good player. Mm. Somet was a good player. Uh, uh, Frank Makua. Frank was in the middle. But yeah. these were wingers. Mm. Quick wingers in the world. Was David Matebula you coached him? He was in that team. I was grooming David. David, I picked him in Kapungeni. Mm. I picked him from the streets as well. Yeah. And made him a better star. Mm. Yeah. Hey, could you develop players? Even in poor Malika, I picked them. Yeah. Yes. No, could you've been developing. I, I don't think you are getting the credit you deserve in this country. I'm telling you. Imagine all my Duga to build it there was Eddie from the start, from the scratch. Yeah. Make them a better players. Mm. Ngoven. Mm. Utlifod Ngoven, you coached him at Aces. Yes. But he was already from Pirates. Yeah, from he was Pirates. developed. But his career was finished as it come. Yeah. I'll rebuild it. As much as he, I brought he, what called to Ben McCann, I mean to, I recommended this one to, to Chiefs. Uh, yeah. Which one? The defender? No. Uh, um, the Zuma. Yeah. They were playing under 20. Mm. Botswana. Mm. I saw the player and I told him, uh, 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 son, that this is the player, he won't disappoint you, take him, go with him. Mm. Until I came here, I was still recommending him to Chiefs to play. Mm. Yes. And Chief signed him. Signed him, stretch. Yeah. As much as I, I brought you with this one on my, with him, I bought my air ticket to bring uh, Peri Mutapa. Yeah. My the own one, money. Peri Peri, the one who played for Pirates. Yes. Good Principal. Minister. Yeah, the principal. Yes, I brought him. Mm. Yes. And coach, there is, a, there is a player, because I believe you've got a good eye for a player, and you know a player will fit on which system and he won't fit. There is a player that Pirates signed recently was Muyoyo. Muyo. And when he's arrival, you say this guy, he won't make it. You remember I said You it. said I've got one of the best as far as talent is concerned. Mm. I'm not promoting myself. I'm not supporting myself. I don't really say I'm better than anybody. Mm. But I can tell you a player. Immediately start juggling the ball. I'll tell you this player can play this player. I said that more you can cut my finger, more I won't play. <laughs> I said it to that boy who was playing for Chiefs. Uh, which one? Uh, from, from Zambia? Yes. Uh, what's his name? Kambole. Uh, Kambole. I said even Kambole. You can go back to what for. I said Kambole. Chiefs is a big team. Yeah. Uh, but coach, how do you tell? Because Kambole, when he comes here, he was a star. He killed Chiefs here at the Champions League. Yes. That's when they signed him. Yes. Moyoyo came here highly recommended. But you yes. said this one, they won't make it here. How they did you know? You see, I'm born with the talent. Ria knows that. Mm. And Ria, even Mario Moff knows that when I recommend. That's why when I saw this boy, 
Karinge in the mm. dust. I said, Karinge is going very far. Mm. I picked Karinge from the dust. Mm. I picked the, this white boy who was playing for uh, Marisbeck. Who's this one? Um, With the white gloves, this one, they could throw in. Um, I, I know him. Um, I, I know the boy. He he throws the ball with white hands, and then he was a cheaper. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I I know the boy. I, I played social with him, but he was still young. Uh, Ryan Ray. Ryan, Ryan Ray. Yes. Ryan Ray. Yeah. I took him from the farms here in Pretoria yeah. and started working with him. Yeah. In the social group of sunshine, I promoted social group. They went to playoffs. I left them on the playoffs. I said, I've done my job. Mm. Go and play. You'll be promoted. Then oh, that's Ryan Ray, because he was playing for Mitre United, but he was still a young boy. Yes. And then he disappeared, and then we saw him popping up at uh, so Highlands so Park. No, we didn't see him there because it's lower division, I yes. think. But we saw him at Highlands Park. Highlands Park bought him from... Social from... No, they put him... I came with him, he was registered. Yeah. With the... He was registered with the Pumalanga Plagueses. They sold him. Oh, they caught him there. They made money, Karinga was sold 7 million, man. even today I'm saying it here. Open. Well, how much I went to collect Ndoro. Ndoro was sold seven million. As well. How much did you get? Nothing. Yeah. All these players, you bring them, sell for big money. They don't say thank you, coach. Nothing. Hey, Ndoro was brought by you. Uh, I that. went to pick him at the Chicken Inn. Mm. I saw that talent myself. I went to Blawa and bring, brought Ndoro. In. To, you to play cases. Yes. Pirates bought him. This one was said is a finished material. Bezuma was thrown. Mm. I found the Bezuma said. I'm going to touch you again with the blessed hands. I'm going to bring you back. Mm. I said, meet me at uh, Sun Hill. I met the Zoom at Sun Hill. Mm. I said, I'm signing you myself, physical. You come back at the SS. Mm. You'll be star. He became top goal scorer. Mm. Yes. But, coach, are you, why now, uh, later on, will come on the project you're doing? You want to be a coach or a scout? Because I sense you are a coach, but you also have a good eye for a scout. And teams now, they are recruiting wrong players. Why don't you scout for teams? I can scout for teams, but you see nowadays mm. there is some sort of uh, these coaches are business minded as well. Yeah. They pretend they partly there's somebody behind who, <laughs> who they work with. Yeah. But at the same time they're not getting quality. Mm. You understand? Mm. At the same time they're getting a spear which they are backstabbing themselves. Mm. Yes. Because if we want to promote let's go for quality. Let the right eyes uh, see that these players can play for me. Mm. Yes. I used to go me in the villages in the Popo. There's no village I don't know in South Africa. Yeah. Because I used to spot talent, to go and scout talent and see these players can play. I went to Shoshangove to see Lucky Lukwati. Mm. I saw that Lucky can play. I went to see So Mlapo. Mm. I saw Lapo became a pillar for Real Stars. Yeah. Played even for the national team. Mm. Yes. Omo Malope. Yeah. Yeah, they became stars. And you pick them from villages? Villages. Ordinary. I would just, where there is dust, mm. you would think there is maybe a car skidding. Mm. But he, there's where football is played. Yeah. Yes. They are playing for a court. But I said this player now is going to play for a better silver court. Yeah. Yes. But, but during a time where the chairman paying players well, let's not talk about coaches. Players, were they paid well in, the, in your times or it was just... No, no, no. no. They were not paid well. The highest well. player maybe was getting 500. Mm. Yes, it that was, time. It is, yes. So no, people would ask you today, why didn't you make money? There was no money. Yeah. The highest team which paid me was the Pumalanga Blackesses. That's all. Mm. Yes. The rest they were in Ah, the rest I was doing for my career. Yeah. Yes. Not even the real stars never paid me. Mm. Mm. And and how was the late uh, uh, Tabande Vesme? He still rest Oh, in he was a bomb. Yeah. He was a bomb. Taban was one of the best players. I'm not saying because. He's, he's gone. Mm. But Tavang, he was playing with the dedicated, he, he was putting he, all his what for mind, all mm. his what for, for at least he knew that what I do, I must do it to the best. Yeah. Tavang was a good player. Up to today, I've never seen a good player, a good winner. Mm. But it's only those days, at least. Uh, you see, Tavang started competing with big, big boys. Mm. Like, oh, oh, Kumalo, mm. there is a she said better players, mm. all this, but he was making it. Yeah. He was a, somebody who didn't want to be a substitute. He wanted mm. to be a starter yeah. and continue. He would entertain play, he would entertain supporters, just mm. like Frank Mako. Yeah. Mm. Frank was good. Ah. Talking about the, uh, the message, the, uh, Frank would tell himself and say, now I'll take the ball from the center and score. He could do it. 
Mm. Sometimes you'd go as if he's going to score. He'll give the nearest striker and finish it. Mm. He was not selfish. He played for the team. He played... I, I don't know how to describe Frank. Yeah, Frank very disciplined very, also. Very disciplined. Mm. Mm. And Tapelo Diaw? Oh, he was a machine. Yeah. He was a calculator. Somebody who would make sure that he suppresses the defenders. Yeah. And once he suppresses the defenders, he gives the striker. That's why you find the players like Mishikaru made a very big name because of uh, Tapelo. Uh, they, were, they were a good combination. Yeah. I would mix the Mishikaru and the Tapelo. I, it was a, a combination which I can tell. Yeah, no, you coach the best. I coach the best. Uh, yeah. I've coached the best in all the teams. And two, I could build the players. Yeah. I could see where this one would play. Because Mishikaro was a what? He was yeah, a central center defender. Yeah, central mm. defender. I turned to Mishikaro and said, you, though he was crying, oh, coach, why do you want me to play strike? You, are, you want me people to break me? I said, no, I've seen you can play. Yeah. You can become a good striker with this. You look the way you are winning balls in the air. Mm. But I want you to win them for the corner. That can give us goals. Yeah. Mm. And he was scoring goals. Yes. Hmm. So now, coach, um, in 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 closing, what is coach Sakala doing at the moment? Well, coach Sakala at the moment he is trying to focus on the academy. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there is a little team where I'm working with. This is called the Tafalo Football Club. I'm trying to open it hmm. here at Gemstone. Okay. Yes. So they've got an academy. Yeah, we are trying, though it's not yet, but it's on the pipeline. Yeah, it's, it's you are building it from yes. scratch, more or less. Yes. Yeah. Where we will also need maybe the support. Yeah. From different uh, companies, yeah. uh, stakeholders who could support this, mm. as well as from now this time, we give chance to the girls as well, yeah. the women, ladies, so that at least we have a ladies soccer. Mm. Mm. And you are still available for coaching positions? If I'm still available, but uh, well, uh, I think you have to first division yeah. as the technical director and advise what p football must be. Yeah. Yes. You don't want the PSL now for now? I could make it. Mm. I'm a man of surprise. I can do it. Yeah, you are a man of miracles. Man of miracles, because where I touch 10 gold. Yeah. Yes. But, but what do you think of the current football that we are seeing? Mm, current football. People talk about football. You see, we must ask ourselves why people don't go to the stadium. Mm. Yes, it's because people, let's try to put cream in what we're doing and focus. Mm. Today's football, people are just kicking in and out. As long as it's forward, mm. players, people want to see what is entertaining. Mm. Yes, people want to see like uh, the way you say the shusha and, and piano. Mm. Yes, and up to from the start, want to see goalkeeper starting the ball from behind up to the defenders, defenders putting to the middle field, sharing the football. Mm. Mm. That's what people want to see. This is what people want to see. You see in Europe, stadiums are full. It's because people go for uh, better what you want to go. Mm. Even now, let's try because if we say we are going to sell tickets like that, maybe we start selling marketing. Yeah. Strategy also is dying on yeah. marketing. So, so, coach, when your philosophy is Italian move, you telling a man? Pants. Football must be played on the carpet. I don't believe uh, for the football to be going flying. Yeah. Where are the birds going to fly now when <laughs> there is always something that misses? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, they must start it from the back on the ground? On the ground. Start from the back on the ground. Yeah. Exactly. And move with departments? Move with the department, everybody. Just sharing. Yeah. Yes. So at the moment in PSL, there's no team that plays that system from what you're observing. I'm seeing uh, Sundowns is almost coming up with it. Yeah. Yes. Mm. But in those days, even you see, uh, when I was coaching Pumalanga Plegasis, mm. it was competing. Mm. And the S's, everybody were filling the stadium. Mm. S's was a threat. Mm. S's was playing one of the best football ever. Mm. Uh, even when I drive, people ask me, why don't you come back? And form mm. They forget that it's not me was the, the uh, owner. The owner financially support. Yeah. Me, I was employed as a coach. Yeah. But what I put, mm. what I implemented mm. in Essis mm. was uh, up to the people will never forget. Mm. They will never forget. Today, even when I move, even players I've coached, uh, they're in big positions, they're playing. It means they're from a better school. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. So you believe the current football still needs to improve? They've destabilized the local content or the no. local philosophy? No, it says we always say local coaches will do this. It's not about local coaches. Mm. Coaching is coaching. Mm. If you see now, you go to UK, you go to uh, Europe, oh. uh, most of the coaches are they are exchanging their foreigners mm. in each of that country. Yeah. Take an example, the one coaching in Liverpool. Mm. Look, go and, drop, yeah. yeah, go to Manchester City. Is from Barcelona. Mm. Uh, still more, you find that uh, those are foreigners. But look at the football they are playing. Yeah. So, um, so it's not about the coach. Is it the players? Do we have? To, are we developing wrong players? We are. Our grassroots development is wrongly. It's mm. wrong, 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 wrong. Mm. Because everybody is running saying in football there is money. When the people are doing wrong things, the structure. Mm. Also, let's work even. Self itself must introduce their structures properly. Mm. Yes. Then we'll we'll see an improvement. We'll see improvement on that. Mm. That's why when I came here myself, I started with the structure of development. When you came to South Africa, when I came to South Africa, mm. yes, I knew that these were growing. Then let me start with Chicago, over Chigili Duaba. I start with the over Lakili Kwati, so Mlapo. I had another reserved chickens. Mm. It's like chickens when you start. You don't say when these chickens sell all of them. I'll, bring, I'll buy the chicks. Mm. Yeah, that means you are not a good farmer. You're not going anywhere. Yeah. Yes. You must breed. You must breed first. Yeah. When you breed, you know that when I'm selling, they are eating. Mm. But these are growing. Yeah. I still, these are entering where at that stage. Yeah. And they bring another chicks, which at least yeah. you, know, you continue with the same stage. So we are, we are missing that at the moment because when a certain team that is winning, when that team breaks, yes. you don't have anybody coming up. We don't have. If you see that, I think he, when I look at it, the women's what is coming in a proper way. Yeah. Yeah. Women are coming in a proper way, regardless. But also, let's not uh, disturb them. Mm. Let the women also come into coaching. Yeah. We teach a lot of women, girls, to be coaches so that at least they stand as well. There are some secrets as well. That's why even he, you can't be, you as a man, you go and say, I'm going into a women's league. What are you going to do there? The secrets of women. Eh? women what are you going to do? <laughs> eh? Yeah. Mm. Now we find that men want to coach uh, girls. Mm. No, no, no. Maybe let a man become a manager, that's why. Yeah. Mm. But the coaches must be ladies to coach these Yeah, let's, let, let's give chance to women. Mm. This is mm. about the, their time now. Yeah. Mm. And uh, your foundation? My foundation, yes. I've got a foundation which is Jacob Sakala Foundation, mm. whereby at least I'm looking on the orphanages, mm. old ages, mm. those, the, there are a lot of, with this poverty which have gone through, mm. especially this uh, uh, corona, yeah. it has gone like a wild wind which has uh, swept everybody, Every people have lost their jobs, mm. and some people have gone, some have, uh, a lot of children have le remained, Orphanage. Yeah. yeah, so some still want to go to school. Mm. Yeah, so I'm looking forward for strong st uh, stakeholders who can support so that at least I bring those children back to the classes and they come into football and do different types of work. Yeah. Oh, so I can open some workshops. Those are the things I'm calling out to stakeholders yeah. mm. to give the support yeah yes and and you'll give me the details of your foundation so that we can put at the end of the show for people to reach out to you anybody who's willing to help yes yes i'll give you the word of the foundation okay yes i'll, I'll appreciate that because yes. you're doing a good thing and uh, there are good samaritans out there who will uh, uh, give a hand i would appreciate yeah yes i'm trying to buy a very big 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 uh, so that i accommodate this place if these mm. children I've got some other what go, which at least they have formed in in Zambia is doing very well. The academy is doing very well. Mm. I found the sponsors from Canada. Yeah. Yes, and I'm trying to bring another, but it depends on stakeholders who can mm. do that. Mm. Yes. No, that's mm. that's a great one, coach. And um, and the people mustn't doubt me if I've done it. What can make me fail? Yeah. I produced the stars today. Take an example, Spaff, the president himself. Mm. Yeah, it's from my hands. Mm. The coach for Real AM 
which is my respect now. Mm. Maduka is Maduka. from my hands. Mm. Steve Kompela, mm. who is Sundowns, mm. is from my hands. Mm. I've worked with the coaches like Trotto today as my assistant. Mm. So that one I can't hide. Mm. It was my step. Trotto was at one point your yes, assistant. Yes, even in Sheikhs. Yeah. But today, where are they? It means the job I'm doing is wonderful. Yeah. If I call my own boy, Shaba was my assistant mm. at Real Stars. Mm. Yeah. David Nyati, who has done very well, he was my assistant mm. at the Dangerous Tigers. Tigers. Yes. Yeah. The lady uh, was my assistant as well at Amazul. Um, Shagazulu. Yeah. Henry Kelly. Henry Kelly. Yeah. Yes. So mm. why should people doubt I've produced the stars? You would go and act while it's coming from my hands. Yeah. 1.4 million stars. 1.4 million stars today were doing very well. Yeah. What took Yeah. All these. Three quarters who are coaching in South Africa. Mm. If I'm a bit, I'm a, I'm a bad coach. Yeah. You people must prove me wrong. Yeah. I've said to things. I'm like a Sangoma. I said more things won't, uh, won't work. It really happened. Yeah. I said to Gambole, it really happened. Yeah. So those who doubt me must point the finger and say, you said wrongly. Yeah. Yes. But you know what you've achieved. The country knows what you've achieved. It's just that it's said sometimes, uh, 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 Mdala, that. We only talk good about you when you are no more. Yes. But they, they will say, no, you produce so many players. They must tell you now and they must give you a chance. That's what I want. I want people now when I'm alive. I don't want tomorrow when he, I'm in history and you say, no, uh, Coach Sakala, was, if he was there, we could have been watching football. Yeah. I need your support, people. Yeah. Support me whatever I'm doing today. Yeah. And at one time, I don't forget when I was with the chairman, when the first time we were in first division, mm. I was the chairman, Ivan Koza. He said it straight, Ivan Koza, that. If you want promotion, mm. keep this man. Yeah. And I'm still reminding the chairman yeah. that what you said, uh, Chairman Ivan, you say the truth and you saw it. And mm. you saw what I was, mm. what I'm worth in my life of soccer. Yeah. And I appreciate you wherever you are. As you are a chairman, you are a big chairman. Yeah. I will keep on giving respect. I yeah. salute you, yeah. chairman. But he did yeah. tell them that keep this man in one promotion. He told them, the, mm. told the chairman told uh, the two chairmen of uh, uh, is that mm. if you want promotion, keep this man. Yeah. And really, he said, sure, we will. I did that. They kept me. They got their promotion. Yeah. Yes. No, that's great, coach. And, and let's hope after this, uh, somebody will give you a call to say, come. But I don't like it when they always call you when the teams are in trouble to say, come and save us. I think he, you are right. I've been, I'm fed up of that. People must come and uh, it's like he's saying, somebody's dying. Come here and the, Give him the last injection. <laughs> yeah. While I'm still around, I'm calling all stakeholders, yeah. people. Let's see what we can do now to the young. Mm -hmm. I want you to bring the young ones in the street, take them out of uh, a lot of things from drugs, uh, fighting, bullying in the schools. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, GBV. I'm fighting against in my foundation, mm -hmm. the Jacob Sakala Foundation. Yeah. So, I'm calling all stakeholders. Please don't be shy. Call through this. Either you go through T T K Solutions TV, yeah, yeah. call me please, the, Mr. Sakala. Uh, can we have your number? We want you to meet me. I'll drive wherever. Yeah. Whether your office is in heaven, I'll drive. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you no, very much. No, I like it, Coach. And yeah. and and even those 1.4 million stars that you produce, any one of them who can help them must reach out to you and help. Because if you have a lot of people, there should be somebody out there who say, ah, let me give my former coach or my. Uh, former colleague something to run, help his foundation. But they, they are good people in South Africa, and once they know what you are up to, they will reach out to you, my coach. I would like to say thank you very much. I think even my boys, I know most of the boys I've coached today, they are there in big positions. Yeah. As you know me, don't be, don't be uh, jealous saying, no, the coach will make money. The money I make, I make it for the, your children, yeah. your families, guys. Yeah. This money, where maybe I find a star, we sell, it goes to the foundation. Tomorrow, one child survives, one child mm. is helped, mm. maybe he was dying, one child is slept hungry. The little we have done, it will go to the foundation, it will help them. Yeah. Yes. They see even today, a lot of them, today even young girls, they are going wrong way because there is no direction we can, but the foundation is trying to bring them to a better what called life of tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm calling even wherever you are, Womaduka, don't forget where you came from. Mm. Yes, don't forget where you came from. Yeah. That will be my second book I will be writing. Yeah. Don't forget where you came from. That's the second book. Yeah. 
The first one is the cold, uh, the king who never ruled. The king who never ruled. Yeah. The second one, don't forget where you came from. Thank you, my coach. Yeah, whatever you are doing, but don't forget where you came from. Yeah. Yes. No, I, I, I appreciate you coming through, coach. And uh, if there is nothing else, um, you have anything to say before I close? No, the only thing what I would say, I say, I wish everybody, those players I've coached, who are coaching today, mm. stay focused. I wish you all the luck. Uh, Rome was not built in a day. Mm. Keep on working hard. Mm. With, when you work very hard, you do bigger than what it, it is today. Mm. I know you can make it. Yeah. yeah. At least you haven't passed on the wrong way. My hands are blessed. Mm. Anybody who has touched my hands, anybody who has passed through my hands, you will be a better coach. Yeah. I promise you will. Yes. And today I even congratulate so many. Mm. Who is another one who, who is heading in in the northwest yeah. as the president of Safa? Mm. Yes. Yes. Local. Uh, that LFA is a day. big achievement. Yeah. Uh, Tulahan also. Spaful, yes, yeah, he's a spaful, spaful president, yes, yeah. spaful yeah. president, yeah. And they're saying, God must bless you. I salute you as yeah. well. Steve Compella, oh, you are doing very well there mm. at Sundowns. I know you are a very focused man. Mm. Also, I say, I'm expecting the, the yeah. best. Okay. I know you can do anything, even today, you are elected maybe as a, 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 a CEO of a, a, a SAFA. You can make it, yeah, yeah. You are many of many things. You can do anything, whatever you're given. Yeah. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much, Coach. And thank you uh, once much. again, thank you. We'll be in touch, you know, and we'll talk. There are some things that me and you will talk about. Uh, yes. But uh, you know where to find me now. I uh, know where to find you. This yeah. is my home. Yeah. Anytime I could even hold the phone. Yeah. But uh, please, definitely. You know what I'm crying for, the sponsorship of the foundation. Thank you, Coach. Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll try our best to put the message out there. And yeah. somebody will reach out to you. I will appreciate. Okay. I will appreciate. Okay, thanks, Coach. Um, Thank you, man. From me, TK is the host of uh, TK Sol uh, off the pitch with TK on TK Solutions TV. It's a wrap with uh, uh, Mr. Cellular. Till we meet on the next episode, it's a wrap.